Los Angeles, near LAX, you're homeless. Yes. How'd that happen? I left Georgia. My home was in Georgia. But considered of our wonderful 2020, a lot has happened with a lot of people. And I have a big heart, so I want to come and help. How long have you been out in couple, your vehicle? A couple months. What's been the toughest thing about uh, being out here? Seeing people struggling and seeing the hearts of many because a lot's got, there's things they want to do different. They're willing to do different. And What's been the best thing that someone has done for you? Come out and give us all food every day. That has been a great blessing. A great blessing. You were talking earlier about um, the city disrupting this whole environment for the homeless. Uh, how's that going to impact the folks out here? Well, I think some around the pool. I believe they've been wanting to open that. Um, now I'm not. I don't know how true that is, but um, I heard that they didn't have no notice. But I don't know how true that is. So, um, they, from what I heard, they just come and did, got it all up last night. I mean, some tried to move out last night, so they must have been told yesterday and didn't have time to move because there was so much stuff up against those fences, and a lot of them didn't have time to move at all, so they got here this morning, and they just started dozing it all up. So, I mean, I don't know if they had time to move everything or not, but I just don't know what the... You know, they had all the time went on. I mean, had enough time to move it. Has uh, substance abuse been, ever been a part of your uh, challenges? Sometimes. What types of uh, things have you been done in regards to substances? Uh, drinking sometimes. But. I'm sure the challenge of being homeless or not in a home it's hard to stay off of some type of substance. Yeah, uh, it's like, I mean, just about every night here, there's not a dull night. I mean, you hear hollering, fussing, carrying on with a couple. Um, as far as, I mean, at times, I mean, you, you see people that might meet, need mental help, and it's sad. Um, but to see a lot walking around drinking and drunk, no. But sometimes you have to walk away and leave them alone. Yeah. What would you like uh, normal folks to know about homeless that they probably don't know? That some really do want to change. There are those that don't. I mean, but there's some that, that wants to change. I met a, a lady last night and she talk to me about how she really wants a job that she really wants you know to make something of herself and she looks to be about my age and, and I mean she wants to work she wants to change I mean she wants a different environment and there's people out here that, that has different experiences that does want a better life now there's those that does have mental challenges that yeah that they might have to be on medication or whatever but there's people that just want help. I see you don't have a, uh, you're not currently in a tent. Um, did you no. ever think about having a tent or did you lean away from that? I thought about having a tent and I can build my own, but mm -hmm. I mean, I've got so much stuff, equipment in my truck till I'm afraid to <laughs> lose too much sight of it. I have it chained down. Mm -hmm. And uh, what type of job skills do you have? Do you have any experiences that might be useful to an employer? Oh yeah, I uh, well, I can pretty much build a house. So you've been Plumbing. in construction, okay. Yeah. Except running wire, I can't do that. What types of items would you need to help your journey currently? I just want to help help them get a home. 
Yeah, I'm talking to you earlier, you had mentioned that you want to help the other. You're homeless, but you still want to help the others um, yes. work through the challenges. Yes, I do, because ever since I've been here, it seems like my journey has went in every direction I've been wanting to go. And ever since I've been here, I, I met my friend Miguel, and we've been here, and ever since we've been here, he's been able to talk to some of the people that's on the board, and they're willing you know, to talk to us. And maybe we can work a solution out to help them. Um, well, there's so many that's want to charge out of the yin yang. Or maybe I shouldn't have said that, but there's so many that want to charge such a high price to get stuff done, and we're not like that. We're wanting to help. What type of income do you currently have? Uh, right now, I mean, I have a little coming in from my sister. So you have family that mm -hmm. looks out the best they can. Yes. If you could change something about how you lived your life, what would it be? Slow down some, because when I was a, in my younger years, I worked too hard. <laughs> but work never hurts nobody. Mm -hmm. But. Um, I guess, I, I guess nothing I would change because everything I went through in my lifetime, I learned from it. And even learning stuff like this, it's, I mean, carpenter work and, and building and stuff and even landscaping, all this stuff I learned, I learned by being thrown out there to it. And how long have you been at uh, this park? About two months. And previously, did, were you at another location? Or? Uh, maybe the first three or four days, yeah. I uh, I was at the beach, and then when they kicked us out of there, I just went and found somebody to park until I started talking to Miguel. That's where I met him. And as you were saying earlier, um, it looks like they may try to disrupt everyone in this particular location um, also. So. Yeah, a friend of mine told me they had on AM radio 600 and something that they were talking about wanting to build somewhere around here. I don't know if it's right in this vicinity. Um, one bedroom, one bedroom. Um, that it's grown up and it's like nobody's using it. And I don't know if they're talking about that area. You might get by there and take a shot of it, but it's like grown up area way, you know, on the other side over there. And um, it's like, there's so much here, that, like on the other side, it's wasted. There's nothing being done. And they're, they're talking, they're wanting to shut, there's people that's wanting to vote to shut it down. Now, if that's not used, the fences could be put up like there already has been in the city area. You know, the people didn't even know how much, I don't they know exactly the spot it was at, but people didn't even know homeless people was there because there was a fence so high and stuff was, you know, in between the fence that people couldn't see in. They didn't even know homeless people were there. So as long as we have the right to security and, you know, someone that ain't going to be, you know, over security, you know, we have the right people in there and, and take care of everything, but not over dwelling to where You know, some, some, some places could be overdwelling. Like, they want to go through every bit of your stuff. I've seen one spot where homelesses are, which that's fine if they're in stricter, higher areas or whatever. But I see no nonsense in that unless we see trouble out of them. I don't see that have security. That have security. But it's just like that other place where they had high fence. Um, they didn't even know homeless people lived there. And I believe in national security, believe me, I am. And I'm strict myself. But um, some, pla some places can be over, over, um, over pushing. Are there a lot of services that they offer you out here for food and? Well, mostly food, but there are a lot of people that comes by um, 
that does give quotes and stuff. There's a lot of grateful folks that comes by out here and you know even the bathroom woman that comes and cleans every day that they do leave the bathroom stalls open for us 24 hours and I, I thank her for it. And Are they kept would, fairly clean? Yeah, when you don't have some of those that comes in that wants to dirty them up just to be mean. But there's there is a, a, another lady out there, Tiffany, and it could be another one that tries to keep it clean when that person wants to act up. But we what? are trying to stay together around out there. And I've met good people out there. Yeah, I think the the uh, thought is that homeless aren't good people. You know, and, and, and it's, it's a bad way to look at people in life. Um, and as you were sharing earlier, there's many good people. They just are took a different turn, but it doesn't mean that they don't they can't add value. There's many value people out here. It's just taking the time to talk to them and getting to know their situation. And a lot of people don't want to do that. And I would do it in a heartbeat. I really would. And you were saying earlier that there's a lot of individuals um, in the park that are using our they are drugs, some. alcohol, and, and they there's, are. Some, there's some that really just want to want help. They are, but I do. I believe some just want to I just, I, I just do not believe that it's just something they want to continue to stay on. What does your future look like? My future is hopefully being successful to help them. And hopefully the city will work with us to be able to do that. If there was an employer that, um, have you had an opportunity, to, are you interested in looking for work or is it, is it due to the challenges, has it been difficult? Well, I mean, I don't think the challenge has been so hard so far because, I mean, really, I mean, all the, so far this journey, I mean, it's just, come in hand. I mean, I don't know what people think, but you know, I think I count my blessings because I, I come out here what I felt like was right to do. And it's like everything come in place and it's coming in place. And I feel like everything will come in place as it should. You said you were from Georgia earlier. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had how do you like Georgia versus Los Angeles? I don't like big cities at all. I can't stand Atlanta, Atlanta Georgia. Mm -hmm. But I tell you what, it's way cooler here. Mm -hmm. I'd much love it here than I do Georgia. <laughs> I do. I'd have to say I do. Are there many entities that bring food and clothing around or? Not so much clothing, but a lot of, a lot of food they do. People do. They, they try their best to bring a lot of food, and we're so very thankful. Yeah, you seem very optimistic and positive despite the challenge of living outdoors. Um, how do you stay so positive? I have faith. And I trust in the one that made it all happen. And it created. And now you, you said you have a sister. Is your sister local? Or? No, all my family is from Georgia. Oh, so everybody's back in that part of town. Trust me, they did not want me to leave, but I told them I had a quest, so I had to go. <laughs> I had to go. Okay. Well, again, it's been a pleasure, you know. Um, I saw you with your setup, you know, and um, it looks like you were, like you said, you were in, you said Venice earlier? In Venice? You were in the Venice areas yeah. before you came here? Because I know they're doing a lot of um, disrupting of individuals over there. Yeah. But that's just happening all across LA. It is, it is. And I, I just hope maybe there's just so many empty buildings. And I don't I don't mind going cheaper. We don't mind going cheaper. And there's there's people out here that has construction work. There's people that need jobs. When I go to Home Depot, there's people that need jobs. They're waiting for jobs. Don't think I can't run a crew, because I'll run a crew in a heartbeat. And I don't, I'm not easy, but I am, I'm easy, but I ain't easy. But I'll put them away. Yeah, affordable housing is the key. If that's the way they want to go, but if they got empty buildings, I say go 
for the empty buildings it was a lot easier. But that, a lot more money will go out in affordable houses. Have you and your friends filled out applications or yeah, in order to... Yeah, because I'm believing for the city to come through. Okay. And if not, then I will. But those are the folks that are in positions and they're voted in. They should look out because this is no way to live. That's exactly right. Well, Angie, it's been nice talking to you. Again, I'll stay in touch. You know, Thank you so um, much. whatever I can do, um, and in my power, then I'll do. But I will stay in touch again. Thank, Thank you, you so much, and I will be here. Okay. Thanks Thank again. You. Thank you.